This is Juan Mendoza reporting for Rebel News. On Thursday, May 26, the people of Uvalde, Texas gathered at the town square to commemorate and honor the victims of the Robb Elementary shooting, which took the lives of 21 people, 19 of which were children. We went on the ground to speak with many of the people that were there. That in the midst of darkness, your truth always prevails. And so, God, we know that this world is a fallen world where hatred, Lord God, and envy and rejection, Father, always just reigns in the heart of man. We know that this is an issue of the heart of man. And we know, Lord God, that this is an issue, Father, of evilness, Father. But today, as we stand in this place and in this city, in the core of the city, we just release your peace, Father, over the city. And we ask, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you turn our hearts back to you. Father, because we believe that this nation of America, we need revival. And more than ever, we need you, God. Because in times like this, you are a present help. In times of this, Lord God, you are an anchor. In times of this, you are the only one God that can bring hope and peace to our hearts peace that surpasses all understanding on Tuesday May 24th at 1128 suspect just west of here wrecks his vehicle pickup truck that he took from his grandmother he had just shot his grandmother in the face she's alive she's stable at this point 1128 he's sitting there at the barge. He jumps out the passenger side of the truck. According to witnesses, he's got a long arm, rifle, and a bag. Later we find out it's ammunition. He walks around, he sees two witnesses at the funeral home across the street from where he wrecked. He engages and fires towards them. He continues walking. He continues walking towards the school. He climbs a fence. Now he's in the parking lot, shooting at the school multiple times. Hold your child or children very tight and pay close attention to them. I think parenting is a sacred act. And if you do not take it that way, and learn from this event. Learn from this traumatic experience that not only parents are affected by, it, but the entire cities, the entire state, the entire country, all the world is affected by this. And it hurts everyone. But if you as a parent are complacent with your children, as to knowing what's going on in their life, then maybe step it up a little bit. You know, ask your kids questions. How was school today? How are you feeling? Um, if there's anything new in their life. Asking these little simple questions can prevent a child or a teenager from bringing a gun to a school. Espero también que la comunidad esté bien, bien unida aquí porque se están apoyando todos. Yo estaba ayer en el vigilia y pues la, la comunidad estaba ahí unida y listos para apoyarse cada uno. Los sí. sacerdotes ahí me estaban diciendo, estaban ahí apoyando a quien quieran, estaban dando de comida a la gente así, uh -huh. nomás ayudándole para que... Pues, sí. Pero... Es que no, sí. Este, y, y como digo, ¿verdad? yo me enteré de todo esto por mi nietecita, este, pero cuando mi nuera me habló que me dijo que había un shooter en la escuela, este, yo pensaba que no, luego lo iban a agarrar y nunca pensé en mi vida que iba a pasar una tragedia así. Este, y, y luego nos hablaron que podíamos recoger la niña, eran como dos horas y media después, y fuimos yo y mi esposo a levantarla y sí estaba asustadía. Y, Nuestra niña es una niña especial, so ella estaba, eh, y me dijo la maestra, dijo, estaba bien preocupada por lo que estaba pasando y bien asustado. If you would like to help us fund these reports and help us expand our coverage of Miami and the Florida sector, you can do so by going to rebelnews.com.